Okay, for 3a, we're converting an equation into rectangular. So if it gives it to you this way, going from the uh, polar, which is what this is in, into rectangular, that means it's going to be given to you as a multiple choice. So on the test uh, itself, you'll see some multiple choice that's here. And so we're going to work through this. You might have to do a little work at the end to get it to look like some of the answers on the multiple choice. To get full credit for this, you have to show your work. If you just take a guess, I'm taking points off because the point of this is not just the answer. I want to see how you, you get to the answer. That's what I'm testing you on is do you know the process. So let's uh, start off with this one. Now in order to convert this, we have to look for the ways to change polar into rectangular. Now there's a formula uh, that you want to know, which is going to be if you have an r cosine, that's x, and r sine theta, is y. Now we don't have that here. We have just cosine and sine. We don't have the r that comes in front of it. So what I recommend here is for the very first step, we're going to take the entire equation, both sides, and we're going to multiply it by r. So we're multiplying the outside by r. So that way it converts everything all over. We get r squared equals 12r cosine theta minus 16r sine theta. So we're going to do r times everything that you see inside the parentheses. So now that we have this complete, you're going to change the r cosine into an x and we're going to change the r sine theta into a y. We're going to use direct substitution in this case. So again, any, everywhere you see r sine theta, that's the same thing as a y. Everything for r cosine, that's exactly the same thing as an x. Okay, so we've converted these over. Well, what about the, the r squared? Well, we have a formula for that as well. That is x squared plus y squared. So now we do that and we have everything all in terms of x's and y's. So you don't want to just leave it as this because this is a mixture of r's and x's. We want to take it all down into x's and y's. So we're down to this point here. But if we take a look at the answer choices, we don't have anything that looks like this. So sometimes you might have to do a little bit more work. What we're going to do here is we have to do complete the square uh, to get it into the proper form that is on the test. So first what we want to do is set it up like this. We're going to subtract the 12x and add the 16y and so you get a zero on that side. Then you want to leave some spaces in here because we're going to do complete the square steps uh, for both of those. Complete the square steps involves taking the number in front of the x, divided by 2, and then squaring it. So let's show those steps here. So step 1 will be to take negative 12 uh, divided by 2, and we get negative 6. For step 2, we're going to square the, the negative 6, and you'll get 36. You want to add this to both sides of the equation in order to make the equation balanced. So you can, that's a really important step, add to both sides. Let's do it the same thing for the 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8, and 8 squared is 64. The answer you get in step 2, you're going to add that to both sides of the equation. So we add that on both sides. Now the last thing that we're going to do is we're just going to factor this. And when you factor it, it's going to go into a form that looks like that you'll have an x quantity squared and a y quantity squared there and you'll have a hundred on this side when you add 36 and 64. Now what goes inside the blank here is the answer you get for step one of your complete the square steps. So inside here we'll have a minus six. Inside there you'll have a plus eight. So now that we've done that we've taken it into a form that's on the test. So if you look at this that's going to be choice D, if you look at the answer key or answer choices that you have uh, for this one. So again, going from polar rectangular, it's going to have to be given as a multiple choice. And the reason why for that is because there's a lot of different ways we could write our answers uh, with X's and Y's. So because of that, if I give you a question where I'm going from polar rectangular, uh, definitely it'll be multiple choice. But uh, besides answering that, make sure you show your work as justification so you can get the full credit.